Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Return to Monkey Island. We're in the International House of Mojo, which is having a closing down sale. And now the town meeting is over, so I believe we can probably go and speak to some other people that we haven't spoken to before, as we look to maybe make a disguise to get on LeChuck's ship. Let's talk to the voodoo lady, see if there's anything else she can tell us. Uh, your sign says you're going out of business. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business signs? <laughs> There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, Aww. and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. Madison. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Oh, back up. Dark magic, you said? Yep. I did. Uh, how does the dark magic work? How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. <laughs> okay, well, is dark magic powerful? Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot. It <laughs> has many uses. <laughs> It's true. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Oh. Nuts. It's worth a try. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, fine. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. Ah. That legend is true, but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Mele Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. Nice. So we'll get the voodoo eye patch, bring it back here. She can do the voodoo spells on it, and then I'm guessing it will fool a chuck. I don't suppose you sell maps. I don't suppose you sell mops. Oh, mops. I cannot guide you on <laughs> Misread that. Mops. The true master is the cook at the scumba. Ah, the cook at the scum bar. Cool. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? <laughs> there are no answers, only questions that are finished. That's a no then. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. There's a surprise. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of our goal. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. Yeah. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. <laughs> Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew. Yeah, I was that thinking that. true of many things. The mystery's gone now. Oh, <laughs> got any other mystical advice or information for me? Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something. No. <laughs> Stock tips. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, ooh, can we take that? Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Ah, oh, cool. Right, well, <clears throat> we know where we can get a mop from the cook in the scum bar, but uh, hang on, what does this say? Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. So Madison seems to be doing a bit of an Aussie mandrill and buying up all the property. 
just saying. Wally's map some more. Let's go and see our good old friend Wally. Hey, Wally. Well, well, well. Look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? <laughs> You're lucky I'm past all that and I'm running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Okay, well, uh, I'm guessing we might need to steal uh, either his eyepiece or one around here to use as a magnifying glass for the... Um, the serial number on the jail door, but we'll see. I'm looking for a mop. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Yeah, sorry. Well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. Yeah. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. Yeah, we can do that. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Oh, I bet the Chuck's got it. I'm looking for a map through the forest. Uh, I'm looking for a map through the forest. What are you trying to find in the forest? I don't yeah. know. Nothing in particular. Yeah. Then having a map won't really be any different than wandering around lost, will it? Yeah, but... Touché, um, Wally. Well, never mind. I mean, we just wanted to have a look around. You have a lot of maps in here? You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Come on, Guybrush. Yeah, I've forgotten how funny it was. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high stakes, ego driven world of pirating is changing. And dark magic is taking over. Tut, tut, tut. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. Huh. Good for you. The town seems to be pretty run down. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. <laughs> I'm doing what's right for Wally. Yeah, okay, well, it's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. Hmm. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. Oh. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. <laughs> uh -huh. I wonder if that's to do with the, um, the graffiti we've seen everywhere. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. Yeah, I can see that. I didn't know you made globes too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. Nice. What's all this? Apparently nothing. Uh, there's an old lamp. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. <laughs> I feel very strongly about that for some reason. <laughs> oh, a monocle. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Can we have that monocle? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Yoink. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. Oh. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Uh, real subtle there, Guybrush, getting caught. Box of maps. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Oh, come on. Never mind. For an old friend. Surely for an old friend. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. <laughs> I bet it is. Ooh, looks chilly up there. An odd map up in the corner. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. <laughs> Star Wars reference. Um, that island looks like a pair of trousers. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. Trouser Island, why not? It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? Yeah. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. <laughs> it's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, see? There you go. Spiky map. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, rating, cursed black diamond. Oh, dear. The first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. 
Yeah, I mean, good chance. The uh, slightly suspicious ladder to a window. Hey, Wally. What's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Yeah, can't you just go hey, out? Wally. What's in these boxes? Maps. More maps. There's maps everywhere. Look at all these maps. Ooh, a map full of monsters. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Patterned yeah, map. Never seen one of those before. Nice. There's all sorts of maps here. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. <laughs> all right, well, out we go. I'm guessing we can use that then. Uh, let's, I tell you what, let's give it a go now. Why not? Oh, meanwhile, on a truck ship. Lechuk, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <laughs> I love his beard. A uh, funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? <laughs> he must be looking for the secret too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? Fair point. I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Well, they won't know that it's Threepwood. That's going to be the thing, isn't it? Uh, so, the general store is still closed. Let's head into the jail. And we'll see if we can figure hey, out... Guybrush. Hello. Hey, kid. I'm back. Uh, good news. I think I might be able to use this Darn it. to... I've been trying to inventory the spiders, but they keep eating each other, and I have to start over. <laughs> well, I'm just going to look at this. I can read the serial number. Nice. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Okay. We've written it down. Where did we write it down? Here. Read the serial number. Uh, read the serial this number. This is the number for the jail cell lock. Okay, cool. Right, so, let's head out. We'll go back to the locksmiths, and we'll see if uh, she can make a key. Welcome back. Hiya. Hello, we're back. Uh, we would like you to make us a key, please, with our totally legit, definitely our lock serial number. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. <laughs> oh, wow. What a coincidence. I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Funny that. You uh, you get back to whatever you're doing. Don't worry about us. Nothing to see here. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. Good news, Otis. Um, we've got a, a key to let you out. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Excellent. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. <laughs> I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Yeah, we don't want to get locked in. Hot diggity, what a day. Looks huh? like we can't see. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Yeah. Sorry, Stan. Looks like you're hey, on your own, mate. Stan. Hello there, son. Um, okay. I've been to the shipyard. Your office is all boarded up. I've been to the shipyard. Your office is all boarded up, with your toothbrush sealed inside, presumably. Yeah. Well, don't worry yourself about it then, son. I found a dead centipede in the corner that should do until they let me out. Okay, well, see you later then. <laughs> yep. All right, well, don't say we didn't try to help you, buddy. So, let's head back. So, our checklist, to-do list. We've got to join the truck's crew. We've got to get the uh, quartermaster not to recognise us, and we need a mop. So we need to head. Let's just go this way because it's a lot quicker. Take the back way to the island's interior. We'll go to the museum, which is where we will find our brand new, pre-owned, previously used. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad. The curator and docent here. 
I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Thanks. Uh, uh, thanks. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Malay Island, at the very least. <laughs> the provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Authenticity is our watchword and our pledge. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. Okay, yeah, we will do. Looks like this is the, uh, the th ooh, okay. Quietly open the display case. I don't reckon that's gonna happen. So this must what be it. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. Huh, well, that's because you don't have voodoo powers, which we have access to. So, guys, we'll try and figure that out in the next one. We'll get our hands on it, don't worry. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.